Okay, and in this last uh, organic chemistry alkanes video about naming the alkanes, I want to look at some of the most difficult ones that I could find. Okay, and they're still not very difficult, so uh, let's go ahead and name these two. Okay, again, first we start by finding our longest carbon chain, and I don't know about you, but I, I can kind of just see them now because I've done so many of them. So, but anyway, I'll I'll start start at any end and just take any direction. Find what the longest one you can. So I can start here, one and two, and then I can change go uh, move up. That just gives me one more. I can go straight, one, two, three more, or I can go down and get two more. So obviously, so far the longest one is one, two, three, four, five. But I must also choose a different starting direction. Let's start here. And start here and go down a one and get three or can down one and get one two three more so that's five or I can get one two uh, two more and that gives me four so again the longest structure is five obviously I can if I start here and notice that that the number of carbons until I get to my first split is more than from here so it makes sense to start from the longest looking branch okay now if I look at all the branches here the longest looking branch is this one to so start from this one okay so one two three four now I get to a split okay and I can either go one or one or two so obviously this direction is going to be the most one one two three four five six yes I'm working with a hexane I'm working with a hexane. On this hexane, I now need to number my carbons. This can be carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But, if, but this time, when numbering my carbon uh, chain, obviously the point is to start at the smallest, um, the shortest way to the split. Okay, so this is going to be better. 1, 2, 3, and this is where the split happens. 4, Five, six, okay, and here I see on number three I've got two branches. In both of those branches I have single carbons, okay, that means I have a dimethyl. Methyl because it's single, single carbons, di because there's two single carbons, so dimethyl, and now I just need to show. Um, there has to be two numbers in front here because it's a die. So the two numbers, since both are on the same branch, okay, or sorry, on the same carbon, it would be 3,3 3 dimethylhexane. Okay, um, if I were to write my condensed structural formula, I'll start with carbon number one. Carbon number one always has three hydrogens to it. Carbon number two always has two unless it would have a branch. But here we see now it's branch number three. Carbon number three would, since he has a branch, he could have had one hydrogen, but he has two branches. He only has two um, possible hydrogens to take, and both of those hydrogens were replaced with branches. So this is carbon, and he has no hydrogens bonded to him. You can see this carbon. It's got a carbon, 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 all direction carbons. Okay, so we'll we'll name the chains. There's a car, um, there's methyl chains, sorry, methyl branches, and there's two of them. So we just close the bracket and write a two at the bottom, suggesting we've got two methyl branches. Okay, and then we have the rest of the chain as normal. CH two. CH2, CH3. Okay, this is the one, two, three, four, five, six carbons not in brackets, and then um, an additional two in brackets uh, represented by that two at the bottom. So let's go and look at the molecular formula for this one. So, how many carbons do I have in total? Well, I've got six in the main branch and two there, so I've got eight carbons in total. So, how many hydrogens should I have? 8 times 2 plus 2, which gives me 16 plus 2 is 18. Let's count. So we've got 3 and 2 is 5. None here. Then in here we've got 3, but there's 2 of them. So we must multiply these uh, subscripts. So I've got 6 
I've got 6 carbons, 6 added to my 5 is 11, plus 2 is um, 13, plus 2 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So this is exactly what I have and what I need. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 2 is 18. So I'm on the right track at least. Okay, so let's use the same system I suggested in the previous one. Let's look at what looks like the longest chain and here you can see and, and that's where I'm going to start and find my longest chain. Go to the split and see which is the longest one I can find from there. So you can see either these two branches, either one of these two branches, they look like they might, might be the longest. So let's start with, uh, well, let's start with this first one. Okay, or this last one. If I go, now I go up till that split, now I go and see from here which which looks like the longest chain from here. Two there or three that direction. So obviously three in that direction. If I go here, if I come here, I see I've got two if I go down or two if I go this way. But if I go down, it stops. If I go this way, I can still move left or right. Okay, so I'm going to go straight. When once I get here, I see I can go up or I can go down. If I go down, I get an additional three up, only one. So here is my carbon chain. What a long carbon chain, isn't isn't it? Okay, let's see what's this one's name. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. We are working with a decane. Decane, very unlikely for you to get a decane, but I'm trying to make this as hard as possible to show you it is really as easy um, as you can imagine. Okay, so we're working with a decane. Now we need to identify our groups. So there is our uh, branches. Okay, I've got three branches. Two of these branches are the same, and they are both um, ethyls because they've got two carbons in and I've got a methyl. So remember, my alkyl groups I will write in alphabetic order. Okay, Ethyl comes before methyl. So I'll start with ethyl. Okay, And I'll start with numbering. And it doesn't... I don't have to number to have the first ethyl. I need to number to have the first um, branch. So from where should I number? One, two, three, four or one, two, three, four. Okay, so now you notice that in this case we have two branches um, uh, fighting for the right to be named first. Okay, so Either this one can be 4 and then it is a, a ethyl at number 4 or this one can be 4 and then it is a methyl at 4. So in a case like this we will, we will choose to go with the superior chain. The chain that is longer gets the naming rights. Okay, so in this case it is the ethyl. Ethyl gets naming rights. Okay, so this will be number 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I regret using green because it's not very visible, but okay. So in this case, we will have our ethyl, okay, we will have two ethyls, so this will, and we'll have an ethyl on four and five, so this will be four comma five diethyl Okay, because there's two ethyl groups, one on four and five, and then dash one, uh, sorry, six, seven. Number seven has a methyl group, so it's seven, and I'm sorry for my space here, yeah. seven methyl decane. So four comma five dash diethyl dash seven dash methyl decane and uh, that's really the most difficult one I could find that is at all relevant to you so thank you very much for watching I hope you did learn a uh, sufficient amount of things to have made this time watching the videos
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video. See you later.